Right now at 6 o'clock, the family of this local mom is pleading for answers in her death. She was killed in a hit and run by two different vehicles that drove away from the scene. The woman's family tells us Annalita Smith was 67 years old. She was hit and killed Wednesday night on Avenue B, two blocks south of Edgewood Avenue in northwest Jacksonville. News for Jack's reporter Khalil Maycock spoke with Smith's family and joins us near the scene of the accident. Khalil. Yeah, and that family tells me since Wednesday, their life has been difficult. They say they remember that woman as a loving spirit. But to remember her, and so everyone else does, they've put these flowers in this cross here so she won't be forgotten. It's my heart. Um, I haven't really grasped the concept of my mom being gone yet, but it's been hard. Connie Blue was emotional talking about the death of her mom, 67-year-old Annalita Smith. Smith died Wednesday night on this road after being hit by two cars and both just drove away. To so hit somebody and keep going and to know that you hit them and just kept going, you know, it hurts because my grandma, she was so kind. Investigators are looking for the dark colored SUV and a white Chevrolet sedan. They believe those are what struck Smith. Detectives were back out Friday looking for more evidence to solve the case. According to these News for Jack's records, there have been 10 fatal hit and runs in Duval County this year. And in two cases, there have been arrests. Now, Smith's hit and run that happened here is the second one to happen on this street. Smith's death also marks the 160th traffic death in the county this year. It's a mark. The Florida Department of Transportation wishes wasn't reached. We, we take it incredibly serious. We've got to get to zero deaths and serious injuries on the roadway. And that goes down to just following the speed limit. Make sure that you're crossing within crosswalks. Um, some of the basic safety items that I think we all know, uh, like wearing light colored clothing when you're uh, going out at night. This is where there's a memorial for mom. Talk to me about this. So. We just picked this up the day before when we found out. The first thing we wanted to do was come and put something right here so we can remember her. And the family says remembering Smith is something they'll be doing a lot this holiday season. You'll be having Thanksgiving with your family. We won't. We'll be planning a funeral with for my mom. We won't have Christmas with my mom. We won't have New Year's with my mom. And that family is asking anyone with information to come forward to let JSO know something so they can get closure. And they tell me they do plan to add more to this memorial so everyone knows just how big of a personality Smith had. Reporting live, Phil Maycock, Channel 4, The Local Station.